Only on 7, closing a major security gap in hot targets for car thieves. Good evening. Thank you for joining us here at 6. I'm Dave Llewellyn. And I'm Carolyn Clifford. Dodge is rolling out a fix after our story last month exposed how their high-performance vehicles were being stolen in just seconds. Police say thieves have been hacking into electronic systems. Dodge Charger and Challenger muscle cars were among hundreds of vehicles targeted over the last few years. Detroit's top cop saw our story and made a phone call that is now a game changer. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner broke the story and has the follow up on the security fix tonight at Stellantis headquarters in Auburn Hills. This internal Michigan State Police bulletin spelled out the epidemic of stolen high performance Dodge vehicles. Motor City Police Chief was watching our report, then called his contact here. But according to the internal state police document we obtained, the numbers of thefts is more than 100 in two years. Uh, your story prompted my having a conversation with uh, Tim Kaniskis, high-ranking member of Dodge. Dodge is responding to Chief Craig and all Dodge owners, including the ones we talked with. I was honestly just surprised, like, how do they do that in less than 30 minutes? The thieves know how to break in and make a new key fob and drive off with the cars within seconds. Obviously, we're not showing exactly how it's done. One is the original key and one is the copy key. Police tell us at least four have been stolen from the Sterling Heights Assembly Plan employee parking lot while the owners are working inside. Take a look, Sterling Heights police gave chase earlier this month, but terminated pursuit when speeds went above 80 miles an hour. Also earlier this month, Michigan State Police intercepted a stolen Dodge in Detroit. Two guys inside aimed their guns at Detroit police. This ended in a crash and arrests. Here's the plan now issued by Dodge, a second level of security for high performance Dodge Charger and Challenger models, a four digit secondary encryption to be entered when making a new key fob. This will be added at no charge for affected 2015 to 2021 model years, available in the late second quarter of 2021. Now it looks like they're gonna institute a fix. What do you make of that? I think it's long overdue. Sajad Alimara had his charger stolen last year, got a new one with his insurance payment. I'm very glad that they're finally trying to prevent it from happening because over the past couple of years, they haven't really been giving out any updates. We'd hope and pray that other people don't become victimized, but if so, maybe they will spread it out to all the vehicles. She makes a good point. It's not known if FCA Stellantis Dodge will do this fix with all of their vehicles across the board. They declined an interview for this report. We can tell you Detroit police have told us this also affects General Motors and Ford. So we will have more on this in upcoming reports. Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. Wow, taking action, making change. Thank you, Jim.